So, next question is, I'm going to ask you both individually. Start with you, Deck. How often do you train? So, right now, where I'm at, um, I'm getting a lot more rest days in between. So, right now, I'm training like four days a week with my particular goal in mind, which is to, you know, I'm cutting, but I'm, you know, you know, maintain, trying to, you know, maintain, the mass. maintain, yeah, maintain, you know, strength and, you know, at the same time, so. Mr. Remy, how often do you train? Four to five times a week, and that's a great question because I was just having this conversation, so. I train about four to five times a week because that can optimize my recovery. And also because, like I said, it's like my goal in mind is I'm trying to bulk as well. Like I said, I'm, I burn a lot of calories normally. So those three days without creating a high intensity, or yeah, three days, those three days of not, without creating a high intensity, three, two to three days of workout, is my body burns calories. Like I'm burning too many calories in a normal day. So it's like when I can just stack on more calories and more protein without going through something so invigorating to get my heart or pump and make me burn more calories. Like I can bulk so much easier like that. Yeah. But also it's like throughout those days, I have recovery days. I'm stretching. Like it's, I'm not taking, I'm taking the day off of the gym. It's an active recovery yeah. day. Right. It's like, I'm, I'm not just laying on my couch all day doing nothing. Like I'm going to be stretching. I'm going to be meditating. I'm going to be doing so. I'm going to move my body. I'm going to go on a walk or do something with myself. I'm not just going to sit there and do nothing because I feel like that's so beautiful too. It's like you need active recovery. Like it's not like it's not like you can just sit on the couch and hope that the lactic acid in your body just goes away. Mm. And I feel like that's something that's huge too. It's like if you're going to do like a four to five day like thing, like I know people say six to seven days of the week, dude. I'm like, if that works for you, man. Good, like, but good luck when you're like 45, 50 years old, man. <laughs> Talk to me if you can still move. But no, it's like, it's like I just find that's that's the happy medium for me. That's that's the good in between for me. Four to five just kind of depends on how I'm feeling, what my body's feeling. If I'm feeling a little tweaked or something hurts, it's like probably train something else, or it's like okay, I just listen to my body. That's the biggest thing, guys. Like, listen to your body. But there also is a very big difference between. Pushing yourself too hard and knowing and needing to know when you need a rest and pushing through something that is hard and knowing that you're going to grow from it. Like, they're two completely different. Correct. No, that's good. And then I think that's kind of why I asked that question. Um, I'm, I'm the same. I train four days a week. I'm Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm-hmm. I rest Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? And... That's what we're going to try to help you guys out, like how often you should go, how often you're split. And like even Remy just said, it depends, right? Right. Uh, one, some people's age, some people older than others. So, <laughs> so you got to, <laughs> but uh, with, and not everybody's the same, right? We all recover different. And right. like I said, recovery is the most important aspect of growing being in shape and building good quality muscle. But there was times where back in the day I was able to go six and seven days a week. Right. And my body recovered from those workouts. But then that still ties into nutrition as long as I'm putting enough into my body to make my muscles and everything recover faster. Um, and I think Remy just alluded to the same thing too is that I don't train in pain but now i will train pushing past certain things like i'm a big thing if it hurts and like hurts hurts don't do it not if it's hard like do everything hurts and hard yeah Yeah. if (laughs) if i'm doing something i'm like ow versus just grunting through it i'm not gonna do it i'll call it a day i'll let my body heal and i'll try to do some like he said active recovery treatment active recovery well, that, that could be another topic in itself. But how often you train is going to depend on, one, learning and knowing your body, right? And that still takes time in the gym and looking also in the mirror to saying, okay, 
how is this affecting me, how it's not, is this good for me, and also, like you said, feel. How do I feel on day two or day three? How do I feel on day four or day five? If I get to day six, seven, and I can go into the gym and just throw out some numbers. If I, I put my bench day twice a, twice a week, right? We take a split and we say I'm going to do three days in between or two days in between. And I can normally bench press 135 pounds, right? And I go in there that second day and I can't even bench press the bar. Well, you're probably still torn down and you probably need some more recovery. Your body hasn't fully recovered yet. You might want to take a day off, right? Or two. If I could go in there and I could still do that same 135 pounds for four sets of 10 or whatever, then you probably recovered well. So that's just one thing of learning how often I should train, how often I can recover. It's knowing the body, right? There's no clear cut straight answer for everybody because we're all built different, you know? Right. Like, that's what everybody, I mean, a lot of people ask me, oh, how should I do it? I'm like, oh, it depends. And people get upset because they want a straight answer. Yeah. They're like, what's a straight answer? Mm-hmm. Depends on so what you're after. Gonna, yeah. yeah. What's your goal, man? You trying to bodybuild? You trying to lose weight? You trying to gain weight? Like, and that's the biggest thing, too. It's like, like you said, like, uh, age, age is a big factor, too. But not even just that. It's like, like you said, to each person. Like, I know some old dudes they don't always need to warm up as much as some other old dudes. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm sitting here, but it's like, it's the truth, man. It's like, if you if you are capable of doing something that some other people can't, continue to morph that into a way that appeases you and your body's appetite for that. And it's like, if you if you can if you can do some of the things that some other people can't, I want to say it's a shortcut, but it's a little different, then, then, then use that to your advantage, man. Like, and or vice versa, if it's something that's negative, you might need to work a little bit harder at it. Like if you get really tight, like I broke my back twice and fractured my pelvis, and it's like I've been through, I've been through some stuff. So the biggest thing I learned is to I get really, really tight. So I gotta stretch, I gotta warm up, I gotta have a thorough warm up, I gotta make sure that I have blood movement, I, I gotta make sure that my joints are lubricated before I do nothing. It's like, bro, I gotta go hit this leg day, man. My back's tight. What do I need to do? Okay, I need to have some movement. I need to work my way through it. And it's like a lot of people might say, hey, you got to do that. Let me just jump into this workout, man. Like, and I'm like, I'm like, no, like, like this is what we have to do. And you got to be, again, disciplined to what you know your body needs. Are you man, saying you learned good. obedience by the things come that you suffered? Come on, man. <laughs> Speaking. So, man, what are you recovering from? Y'all didn't heard us say recovery, 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 recovery. Make sure you do make the time count, all right? I don't want y'all to get this mixed up and twisted. Just like uh, Denzel just let let it be known that, hey, when we talk about hurt so good, it's because we're talking about what we gain from the pain and what we gain from, you know, what, what's on the other side of what we uh, uh, put ourselves through, right? So ultimately, you got to know, even in your rest, you have to be intentional in that, right? So the reason that my split is the way that it is is because I know what I'm doing in the gym, yeah. right? And I know when I show up, regardless of how I'm feeling, all right, boom, this is, what, this is what's on the agenda. This is what's laid out today. This is what has to be done. This is what has to be accomplished. So then my recovery following that the next day, you know what? It's patterned and based off of what I just put myself through prior to that. Mm-hmm. So... Um. Now, mind you, we're saying recovery, recovery, recovery. That's not an excuse to be like, I'm going to hit the gym on Monday and I ain't going to go back till Friday. <laughs> you ain't recovering. That's lazy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, I'm a straightforward type of fella. So, we're not saying, oh, they said recover and that's the most important thing. So, I'm going to do it twice a week. Now, it's knowing how your body responds and how you can probably do that. 